Medieval soldiers suffered brutal injuries in battle. Their chance of survival lay with barber surgeons. From cutting hair to removing limbs on the battlefield, the job of a barber surgeon was varied, and so were their tools. 600 years ago, surgery was very different from today, and this is some of the kit that the surgeons of then would be using. For example, amputations. This bit of kit was used to cut through the skin. Then you need to get through bone, and this is what they used. Believe it or not, this was used for neurosurgery. But what they didn't have at the time was anesthesia. Despite carrying out major surgery, barber surgeons had no formal training. What they learned, they learned on the job. And the place where they practiced the most was the battlefield. This was also a time when new surgical techniques were developed particularly when it came to saving the life of a future king. In 1403, 16-year-old Prince Henry was injured in the Battle of Shrewsbury while fighting rebels trying to overthrow his father, King Henry IV. The arrow penetrated his right cheek and became lodged at the base of his skull. He was very lucky it didn't kill him instantly. Prince Henry pulled the arrow from his face. The shaft came out, but the arrowhead remained lodged inside. They needed to get that out before infection set in and killed him. To the rescue, celebrated surgeon John Bradmore. Bradmore recorded what he did to save the prince's life, including a picture of the tool he made to extract the arrowhead. And it works by ensuring that the tip is closed and then inserting it along the track caused by the arrowhead until it meets the arrowhead. Then the screw is turned to expand the tip, locking it in place inside the arrowhead. And then ever so slowly and gently, you extract, making sure that you don't lose it along the way. I'm amazed by the skill that would have been needed to do this successfully. Can you imagine how good that felt when that came out? The young prince survived to become King Henry V, hero of Agincourt. But perhaps the real heroes of medieval medicine were the barber surgeons who saved countless lives on the battlefield.